decision by the World Health Organization to put a hold on booster shots underscores the fact that many poorer countries don't have enough doses of the COVID-19 vaccines. That has made the idea of mixing vaccines popular. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at the research right now looking into mixing vaccines and what local scientists say that could mean for the future of the fight against COVID. Here in the U.S., it's pretty simple. You get one shot of Johnson & Johnson or two of Moderna or Pfizer. But researchers around the world have found that combining vaccines may give people better protection against COVID. It is a very interesting and promising idea. Dr. Alessandro Sete at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology says mixing vaccines may be the best way to help countries facing a shortage of shots. The rationale is that the different vaccine platforms may uh, stimulate the immune system in a slightly different fashion. He calls it the prime boost strategy, and it's based on the fact that different vaccines work in different ways. Viral vector vaccines like AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson introduce a harmless portion of the virus into our body. The immune system fights it off and develops antibodies to protect against future infections. mRNA vaccines like Moderna and Pfizer teach the cells how to make a spike protein and then get rid of it. Your body remembers the instructions to recognize the virus later. Dr. Sete says mixing gives the best of both worlds. And so by mixing and matching two different uh, uh, vaccines, you get a more uh, complete activation of the uh, immune system. That's what new research across Europe shows. In May, researchers in Madrid presented the results of their Combivax study. They found patients who got one dose of AstraZeneca and then one dose of Pfizer had a 150-fold increase in antibody titers compared to people who just got one AstraZeneca shot. The Comcov study at the University of Oxford compared four combinations of vaccines, two AstraZeneca shots, two Pfizer, one of each with AstraZeneca first, and one of each with Pfizer first. Their study found both mixed vaccines gave a better immune response than AstraZeneca alone, and that getting the AstraZeneca vaccine first produced higher antibodies and T cells than getting Pfizer first. And a third study from Berlin followed 340 healthcare workers from December through May, giving them one dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine and one dose of Pfizer. It found that mix with 12 weeks between shots gave higher immune responses than traditional two-dose vaccines given three weeks apart. In all studies, side effects of mixed vaccines were similar to side effects from getting the same vaccine. The sum of the two, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, synergistic. It's, you get more than each of the two separately or added together. Dr. Setti says studies like this can be done relatively quickly because data from a few weeks or months can give hints about long-term results. And since other studies already show the vaccines are safe on their own, we can assume they'll be safe together. Setti adds it's important research to help the rest of the world. Ultimately, uh, nobody is safe completely until the whole world is got over the uh, pandemic. More studies will be needed to test mixing with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine here in the U.S. But the CDC does not recommend mixing at all right now. They say we have enough supply to make sure everyone gets their full dose of whichever vaccine they choose. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. It's a lot of stuff there. We have links to all of the vaccine mixing studies on our website, 10 newscom Now, if you have a question that requires an in-depth look, just send us an email. There's the address, tips at 10news.com.